everybody, Johnny and I are Johnny Be Good here at Eaton. A future possible driver for ADL. Hopefully. Hopefully. And he's also a brother in Christ. Yep. Oh. Yeah, this is us right here. This is you? Yep. Hey. Where's your dad? Oh, I see. So, how long have you guys been teaming? Um, year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. Did you uh, start with them, yeah. student, and all that stuff? My dad was with Well for a while. Oh, with Well, really? Well, he knows the stuff then, right? Yeah. What year is this? This uh, seventeen. Woohoo! Any changes with the, uh, that looks different up there. What's that? Those cabinets. Oh, yeah. oh, it's got... it's my dad right here. Hey, Dad. Hey, Johnny, be good. How are you? <laughs> We've been following you for many, many years. We're probably well, one of your number one followers. Oh man, to the glory of the Lord. To the glory of God, yes, amen. So what are you stuck doing here? Uh, I pick up a load in Jessup, Maryland tonight at eight. I had to stop by and get some load locks and uh, walk around sharing. Uh, God's word. Uh, this one is a uh, uh, trucker district. They're a social media for truck drivers and um, for the trucking industry. Yeah. yeah. But you, you kind of live out here now, huh? No, I live in Wisconsin. I know where you live. I, yeah, trucking-wise. Uh, we used to live in Appleton for about eight years. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I hauled bulk milk up in that area. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how long you were with Well? Not very long, I'll be honest. That was the shortest I think it was like a week career I ever had in my life. But they did me dirty though. I, I didn't really appreciate it. You get a load? Really? We're stuck here. Yep, well, I don't know what the deal is. They said there was eight trucks ahead of us and we're still here. You're better looking! <laughs> We'll get out of here in the morning. I'm, I'm almost out of my 14 now. Yep. At least they got you out of there, Fred. We had three trucks today at the same delivery. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it was construction site. But anyways, so, yeah, we used to, uh, I, I honestly, I loved it. And they kept us busy. And uh, they got us to, uh, Lake Station one day, and they said, uh, we got a trailer up here in De Pere. Come up and get it. I said, okay. So I went up there. Literally, this was the craziest thing I've ever had. Went in, they had my they had a yellow envelope at the at the desk right there when you walk into yeah, the building. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, had my name on it and everything. And then uh, I went to go get the envelope and uh, who was Chris that? Chris Carr. Chris Carr came out and said, hey, I want to talk to you for a minute. Okay? He says, uh, he says we're, we're really pleased with everything you're doing. I only been there a week. You know? Yeah. Went through the whole orientation, passed everything. Um, matter of fact, I told him before I even came that I wanted to be sure everything was final, basically, other than the drug screen, obviously. But, uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll make sure. I you know I don't want no games. I've been in this business a long time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I didn't want any games. So he said, "Come into my office." Uh, Chris, the owner. The, 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 Chris Stevens. Yeah. Yeah, the young guy. Yeah. Said hi to me. Uh, glad you're on board. And uh, uh, sat in that office, and I'm thinking, "What am I in this office for? I got to get this load, you know." And uh, I can't think of that guy's name. It was a recruiter. He came into the he came into the office. And Tall guy? Yeah, dark hair. Was it Aaron? Was it Aaron? Yeah, 
What's his name in Europe? I don't remember, but anyways. You're not talking about uh, uh, Sherry Walker's... Uh, Sherry, is she the safety lady? No, she's the head dispatch, oh. Sherry Walker. No, oh, what? Dave Walker. Was it Dave Walker? It might have been. Yeah. Because Dave sits next to uh, Chris. Anyways, I had Jim uh, Ger Gerke. Yeah, Jim Gerke. He's the starter I, guy. Yeah, well, I had him. Nice guy, real calm guy. But anyways, they, the, Chris came back in the office, and then there was this recruiter and uh, said, uh, uh, we got to let you go. And I'm just like blown away. I just saw my dispatch, my envelope. Yeah, and you're doing a really good job. Yeah, doing a really good job. Uh, and as a matter of fact, the old man came in. Uh, Bruce? Is that who it yeah, is? Bruce? I think it is. Yeah, Bruce. Got it. Kind of got a stroke. Maybe he had a stroke at some point. Uh, yeah, probably Bruce. But, but was... anyways, he said, uh, "Do you want some grapes?" I don't remember <laughs> what it was. But anyways, to get bring this all together. Uh, said uh we we're gonna go ahead and let you go safety contacted at us apparently uh apparently something to do with the application but i just came from schneider i've been with schneider for a year so i knew there wasn't nothing i'm telling you schneider's difficult and they're, was, they're like was, drill sergeants yeah i was ic choice with them so i know there's nothing they're like on. the army over there basically Right? He said, yeah, no, yeah. they really are. They're um, like the army over there. Right? He said, we got to let you go. Safety won't hire you on. I said, wait a minute here. I said, I've been driving your truck for a week and a half. You can't tell me safety doesn't doesn't want me on. They've been letting me drive for a week. I went through your orientation. Yeah, they would have sent him home. Yeah. <laughs> I went through the whole orientation, went through a week of, out to uh, Reading. PA? Yeah, yeah. Allentown, that Allentown, area. Allentown, Allentown so, yeah. A couple different times. Said, so, no, no, something came up with safety. We got, we, we're going to let you go. Okay. But the craziest thing is, Chris, Chris Carr, he went and got me my check. Then he said, you know what I'm going to do for you? He said, I really like you a lot. This is out of my hands. He says, it's an insurance company thing. And I said, well, well, tell me what it is because I've been an owner operator for over two or three years. I got nothing on my record, nothing. So they wouldn't even tell you what they it was? They wouldn't even tell me. And then the lady, I can't think of her name. She's the head of all the safety. She came in. Gloria. Gloria, yeah. yeah. She came in and said, Jim, we love you. We love the job you're doing for you. But something from the insurance company, they won't let you on. Well, I know I've never had a ticket never I don't have any accidents I'm not a criminal so what could it possibly be so I went back to Schneider to find out what it could be nothing on nothing nothing wrong yeah. the point of the, the, the long and the short of the whole deal is they put us up in a hotel that night real fancy one got us bus tickets because you know we didn't drive there and gave me my check it was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life so, and I really liked him. Jim was good to work with. I never had no problems with him. And Chris, the two Chris's, I never, I mean, they were always complimentary of what I, you know, what I was doing. But they can't, they couldn't tell you they, what it was? They wouldn't, they wouldn't, all they would tell me is something came up in safety. That's all they would tell me. That's and not, you know, I didn't want to start a big fight or anything. That's you know? not right. That's not right. That really isn't. But they you, you could, you could have probably fight that, you know. I'm telling you. Chris, the owner's son, seemed like a real legitimate guy. I mean, I don't know him personally, but... Yeah, he's, he's a nice guy. It's... I just can't believe he wouldn't go to bat for me, you know? So, it, 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 it seemed like the recruiter and this Gloria lady, they had something up their sleeve, and I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you, I have no idea. I would probably still be with them today. Yeah. But they drove, first of all, they drove us before we got to Gary. We came came somewhere from somewhere, didn't we? Where were we at before we got to the Petra? Uh, we were in Pennsylvania. I know what it was. We set we set there. Went from Pennsylvania to to uh, you know the Petra and Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We set there. They wouldn't bring us. I had like three hours, 
and they wouldn't bring us anywhere. They wouldn't give us no load or nothing. So we sent the Petro for a reset. That's kind of started it, or I thought something yeah. may have been going on. But then the dispatcher says, no, 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 we got you a load right here. Sure enough, I saw the load and my name in it. But anyways, it is what it is. And we didn't stay there too long. And, and Appleton, I love the Appleton area. I lived in Kimberly, which is a suburb. Yeah. We lived there through all the Brett Favre heyday stuff. We loved it there. Um, but then Katrina happened. And I have a very good friend that owns a big building pro uh, products company down there. And uh, so we were all in the mix to that, you know, so we left Appleton at that time. And, we've and, lived uh, a lot of places. Yeah, we've, we've been a lot of places. So oh, both of you live in Michigan now? Well, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. So um, Flint area, I don't know if you know where yeah, that's yeah. at. So not in Flint, but in a suburb, so. Yep, so we're doing this now. Uh, sometimes I wonder why I'm doing it at my age, but you know. Yeah, I did this I for I did this for eight months. <laughs> I got my incredible help, and, and uh, so. So when's this app come out? Soon. They're they're better better testing it right now. So. Huh. Yeah. So we pretty much, honestly, we pretty much met just about anybody that's a YouTuber. Here right. Month, yeah. No, really. No, uh, we've met a lot. Other than other than trucker Josh but we passed him one day in South Dakota he was going one way we were going there it was a horrible horrible winter snark um, but we just seen Jade and John here not many what a couple months ago yeah. down in Texas they were just parked alongside the road and 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 uh, Ethan says well pull in there that's Jade and John no how could how could you know that he so, saw me over there yeah, like well, he yelled your name <laughs> he yelled your name you know, we we uh, we caught your videos when you were on the airplane, and you had the whole debacle with the camera. <laughs> yeah. Who was with that lady? But, I don't know. But we've seen other ones since. There's a guy named Roman Atwood, got a big following. He's not into trucking, but he just got on a plane. Those people never said nothing. He's got 11 million subscribers. That's why. That's they why. They never said nothing to him. That is why. Uh, who else did we see on an airplane? Uh, Little guy and little dog. They're, uh, they, they, you know they, little guy, right? No. Little, they, they've been trucking. Werner and Knight, and, but anyways, same thing. The both of them got on a plane here the other day. Nobody said a thing. The yeah. all, except for that plane that you were on that day. Now you saw the video that I, I posted. There was nothing dangerous about it. Uh, nope. Not interfering with anybody's privacy. No, I know. And, and she never even told me. She even admitted it that uh, she did not to tell me not to. Yeah. And right. she didn't tell me to stop. Yeah. But I did stop. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And if if she would have told me to stop, I would have stopped. Would have stopped. Sure. Yeah. Well. I don't know if it was a power trip or whatever, but. Well, she was she was intimidated for some reason. I don't know. And, what, and did you? I I don't know if it was in the video, but the the second uh, officer says, "Well, ignorance is not an excuse." Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I heard. Oh, was heard that, that on the video? Yeah, yeah, it was on there. Yep, yep. And I goes, "Well, yeah, you don't really expect me to know all you know all the laws." Yeah, you can't ride a plane every day. <laughs> and and the, the funny thing was the flight attendant goes, Did uh, did you know that? I said, no, I didn't know. I said <laughs> Yeah. Well if you don't know it and he you know, what how am I supposed to know? I fly once or twice. I a bet year, you right? he doesn't know every FAA regulations no, no, by no, heart. No, no, I don't. So do you miss well? No. No? No. Moving to ADL was the greatest move I've made in 26 years. Now they're out here, right? Yes, out of Fredericks. But they still get you home every week? Every week. Uh-huh. Yeah, he'll tell you about it. Uh-huh. You might want to try them. I'm getting so tired. I had a Conestoga before I came here, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. You know, it's one of those curtain sides, you yeah. know? Absolutely. But now these tarps... These tarps are like 120 pounds. Yes. The trailer's almost five feet tall. You see what I am. Yeah. 
uh, the, the tarp almost weighs as much as I do. And I'm just at the point where I'm not, you know, I'm not 30 no I more. know, I know. I'm not 30 no more. And hardly get Why home. Here. Hardly get home at all. We, we worked Thanksgiving. We worked Christmas. We had uh, New Year's Eve off only for the simple fact is they didn't want the trucks on the road New Year's Eve. So they put a, on the whole fleet, they put a stop to it. Um, you know, I haven't seen my wife in, golly, a month again? Well, you know, I try just, ADL, man. It, I'm home every... I granted it's been it's been a while since I've been home for 34 hours but at least I get home one day a week you know I mean uh -huh. that's better than two months out here in the road yeah you don't you don't want to do the local thing huh no you like being out on the road yeah uh huh mm -hmm. I, I heard local stuff is more stressful more hard work long hours than over the road mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you're on over the road you drive your 11 I'll tell you exactly I hauled. you drive your 11 you go to bed you know I worked out of Pulaski hauling milk so now I lived in Appleton I got up at midnight yeah that drove was, to that Le it's crazy. actually Lena it's not Pulaski yeah, I've been to Lena. I'm up there in 41, up, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, right there. I know exactly where they are. Drove all the way up there, so that's about an hour drive. Then my milk route was out in Luxembourg, which is, you know, up in Door County, you know, up in Door County yeah. there. I literally worked, literally, from midnight, and I may walk in the door to go to bed at 9, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. And now, then go back every out. Every day, every day it was that way. So... I don't know, the, uh, the money was equal to what I do now. Well, I put in 100 hours a week, let's face it. There was no log books, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Uh, it was just long hours. Oh my gosh, it just never seemed to end. I know. Yeah. And even when I was home, like my day off, all I did was sleep. Because I, you what know, work. What else could you do? Yeah, I had no, nothing, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, and then. You never really had a full day because at midnight you were going again. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, there are do definitely benefits to being over the road, except I could just tell you that in my case, it's not exactly nationwide, but it gets me down 11 hours. I lay over and go to bed, you know, and mm -hmm. still, so... Well, this is the most we've sat in a while, I'll be honest. We got unloaded, what, about 7.30 this morning, 8 o'clock? And yeah. uh, drove about 30 miles to get here. And uh, typically, the, this company, before I can get out of the out of the driveway of wherever there's I've delivered... There's always a pre-plan. Yeah, there's always a pre-plan. There's no complaints when it comes to that. Um, but every once in a while, we get out in this state, and we get hung up for... The afternoon, basically. Yeah. So. Yeah. We seen you out. We seen you uh, out on eighty a couple times. When you, I think you were still with Well at that point. See you drive. I'd be going one way, and you'd wearing be going that yellow coat. Yeah, wearing that <laughs> yellow coat, and we'd see you out there. Oh, uh, you guys, you guys seen yourself on the video or? I uh, never, never on the video, but I'd say. We know your truck. We know blue. We know. Oh, my yellow coat. Yeah, the yellow yeah, 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 yeah. So. So, I mean, we've been following you a long time. Oh, you, wow. Trucker Josh, and Jade and John, I don't know if you know them or not, but... Yeah, I, I know Jade, Josh, and I don't watch I don't watch uh, Trucker videos because I'm already in it, you know? Sure. I mean? Yeah. Boy, what a commitment you guys have with that whole thing. What a commitment. Yeah, you're right. editing, you're filming, you're... I don't, I don't edit much. I, I just put them up raw. It, how does that work? I take the uh, memory card out of the camera and put it on the phone. Upload it. Yeah. While you're driving? No. No, I, I, you know what I mean. Yeah, on the road. Yeah. Yeah. I have an unlimited Sprint data. Yeah, we, ha we have that too. We have the same thing. So it thing. just goes right in the phone and goes from there, huh? Yeah. You don't put it on your laptop? Nope. Uh-huh. See, uh -huh. that's what most vloggers do is, you know, they say, well, I got to edit the vlog now. I got to get this laptop. new super duper. Yeah. Uh, no. Some of those, 
Well, we've seen this guy, Mark State. He's he's with Prime, and he does. I don't wouldn't say it's a daily vlog, but Weekly, but he's maybe. talking about he's talking about microphones that are thousands of dollars and cameras that are yeah. about this big. That you know, my goodness, I'm thinking you guys invest all that money and all that stuff. And well, I, I don't I wouldn't mind investing some better cameras, but. Not certainly not a thousand dollar, you know. Yeah, but I don't see anything unless it's just me. I don't see any difference between a smaller camera and and something, you know, that costs fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, I I truly don't. I mean, but I'm not into that thing, so. I used to I used to do a lot of editing. It it turns out it just it consumes so much of my time. Well, that's and people don't really. Here, yeah, they're here today, gone tomorrow, right? Honestly, um, they, they they care about the content of the show. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I think I really think that humility is the biggest key. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it, I agree. And and be be honest. Don't don't fake it. And don't edit whatever you said something that you shouldn't have said it you know I mean yeah <laughs> of course we can't tell everything you know no, I, of course not but and that was the whole issue uh, that's a darn shame they, they they pulled that on you after you had been with them for so long yeah was that cars decision or was that higher up I think it was uh, Gloria or Chris but it was it was the greatest thing that happened. I, I don't know. It just I mean I, I granted I, I do miss going out to California, but That's what it was. You were going to Industry California a lot, weren't you? Yeah, I was dedicated there. Out of Belgioso. Out of Belgioso. Yeah. yeah, that's a new plan up there by Denmark, huh? I couldn't understand it because you know what? Because of my videos, a lot of drivers went over there and, and I even got some referrals, you know, left and right. It was free advertising for them, and I didn't. I never did anything. Was it was it the cheese factory that made the the stink about something? Probably. Uh -huh. And uh, they got sick and tired of people calling. You know the the haters and the oh, trolls. Oh really? Yeah. People calling? Them? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Huh. That's Recently, I uh, I advertised that I had this. In order for me to leave the receiver, I had to pick up a whole truckload of sailboat fuel. Which isn't real. Sailboat fuel. So, and I said, well, I'm loaded with sailboat fuel, and I don't have an hazmat. Uh oh. Some people got upset. <laughs> Too bad for them. That's yeah. You know, I used to deliver. I, I even. Wow. I even last week. I even had a an overweight ticket for a blinker fluid. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> people call my boss. My boss actually had to change. I can imagine. I, that's pathetic. That's just, and I've heard some of the stuff. I, you know, him and I have heard a lot of stuff. There's about. one guy that even called the Maryland State Trooper. Wasn't Ike Stevens? Was it? <laughs> that's that's terrible. People can't just leave alone. You know, I keep saying there's nothing. There's nothing to be jealous about. I got, you know, I. I I'm not a superstar. I'm not good yeah, looking. No, just a regular guy. I gotta tell you, I like I like when you're uh, barbecuing in the middle of the winter <laughs> out on the deck. Yeah. And, I yeah. Mean, you guys know how to barbecue. You got everything. Oh, tampers helps tampers. a lot. I love tampers. Tampers helps out a lot. I mean, man, he. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't do my job without him. I love tampers. He's a safety and. Uh, Quality control. There you go. We watched uh, not not too long ago your Christmas bash you had. Yeah. Kind of 
we weren't home and we kind of felt like we were home just watching it, you know? Yeah, and the morning campers was, he, he didn't want to eat anymore. <laughs> Can you, I wonder why. <laughs> He couldn't eat it anymore. Scraps for a month. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a that was quite a Christmas. Actually, day. that was just uh, see in Filipino culture, if I invite you, you gotta bring somebody else with you, really? and that somebody else is gonna invite somebody, somebody else. <laughs> so they just keep coming. <laughs> yeah, but that was supposedly for five people. And, and well, there were more than five people. <laughs> So somebody was inviting somebody. Yeah. But thank you. And guess, you, it, it guess what nice. else they do? What's that? They bring containers with them. The guests, they'll bring container, empty containers. <laughs> to take the food home. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So you come from, from the Philippines, yeah. correct? Why Sheboygan? Why Sheboygan? Was there family my, my or dad, friends? My dad's uh, roots are, are from Sheboygan. Oh, Wisconsin. really? Yeah. When we lived in Appleton... Of all rat company, Kohler? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we used to deliver to Kohler, remember? Uh, in Kohler, Wisconsin. Yeah. 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 Um, Herbert V. Kohler is my dad's first cousin. Oh, the yeah. owner of Kohler. Wow. Oh, wow. You've seen the Ballers Company, right? Oh, absolutely yeah. have. That That's them. Uh-huh. It's no longer them. It's been sold a long, long time ago, mm -hmm. but they kept the name. We, I really do miss that area a lot. As a matter of fact, I did a refresher over there at uh, Fox, Fox Fox Valley. Valley. Yeah. Yeah, with John nice over there. Driving school. Yeah, real yeah, nice. Yeah, I wish I really, went there. Really, really nice. So, because after Katrina, I came back into the truck truck business because I'd been building down there during Katrina and never even thought about it but I was off what three years and when I came back they said surprise surprise insurance companies won't hire yeah. you no more and I had decades of yeah verifiable. just because you had a little absent yeah. yeah yeah so I went I, I said well, well what do I do and then they said you know uh, well you're in this area try Try Fox Valley, and I did, and it was reasonable. And I'm telling you, I wish I would have went there originally. I don't know if they were around at that point, but but uh. Did you take the skid? Uh, I did. Yeah. I did. Yep. 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 And as a matter of fact, when I was in, in in the school, UPS came in. Well, UPS pulls their doubles and triples in there, and they do that with. with oh, okay. Yeah, and I. I begged, I begged the uh, John to let me, let me just try it once with the doubles and triples, you know. Yeah. And uh, well, of course he wouldn't let me because I wasn't employed by UPS. But, oh, that'd but, be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, I learned a lot there. Even when you know you think you know stuff, I just learned a lot. I had fun in the on the uh, skid track. And uh, then oh, I, I used to do road. my own skid track. You know, in the empty parking lot. <laughs> I'd lock that trailer up and <laughs> kind of look like a sidewind, sidewinder. I used to do that in Sheboygan, Michigan. I had this milk route. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, a tanker. It was just regular processed milk. And I'd do the same thing. I'd get on those dirt roads in the middle of the winter, you know, and I'd slam on the brakes and see how far the trailer would just go before I needed to be yeah. real concerned. I used to have a blast doing that stuff. So. There was one time, one time, long, 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 long time ago, uh, we were parked down in Sheboygan. It was a, uh, it was the downhill, and there was this little uphill that you had to go through to get out of the parking lot. And lo and behold, there was a blizzard, and I really had to go. So I, I backed up all the way to the end of the parking lot and got my speed to go up. And as soon as that front tire just hit over a hill. I was stuck, and I'm thinking, and it's just a solid sheet of ice, and wow. if I let go of the brake, the whole truck just keep going, uh, 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 uh. so you know what I did? I let go of the brakes, and just backed, I put it on neutral, and I backed that thing up about 25 miles an hour going downhill. <laughs> were, were you around here, oh, well, how long has it been now, maybe three weeks ago? Here in Baltimore, uh, 
when the uh, tanker rolled off the bridge, exploded. Yeah, no, I heard about that. Right and I'm telling you, right, right yeah. on 95, and I'm telling you, there was nothing, the truck traffic that was coming. They couldn't do nothing, they couldn't stop. Here we got a tanker rolled over, it's inflamed. The flames are coming up over the interstate, and the guys had to drive right through this wall of stop. fire. They couldn't stop. They wow. couldn't. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, was it was pitiful. Right it. it was just. And there was another guy on the other side of the uh, of the freeway, talking like on a YouTube, and just saying, "Oh my God, they're going to go in the flames. There, there's nothing yeah, they can do." Scared. I bet there were 20, maybe 20, 30 trucks that. I don't. You know, we never heard the outcome, but I just know it had to have been not a good yeah, situation. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was, and they've had some pileups, and I'm talking that one, they had one in Michigan that was 40 or 50 trucks. Not a lot. And, but it's been a mild winter, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and see, and I've been down south most of the time, Laredo, Pensacola. I haven't seen a snow worth speaking of. I mean, I've, I've seen a little tiny bit, but. Not, not. Every any, time we come up here, there's no snow. I mean, look at look at this. Look at this. Oh, no, this the, I, January, you know. Mm -hmm. Is it is it this warm back home? They said they got snow there last night. Okay. All right. Uh, we used to live there, boy. They used to have some cold, cold winters there. Yeah, Wisconsin doesn't. Did? Well, uh, Michigan ain't up, but yeah, they ain't a, no better. And we used to live in the UP too, and I'm telling you. Whew. Now, now, when I worked in the UP, I used to haul uh, lumber out of Segola, which is uh, near Crystal Falls. But, yeah. And I can tell you, not exaggerating, I've driven these trucks in snow maybe 12, 16 inches deep on the road, you know, up there in the UP. But, they don't got no snowplows. Yeah. They just, I used to have some fun up there hauling the lumber out of uh, Iron Mountain or you know, Kingsford used to come out of there all the time. I used to actually work for a, a flatbed company right out of uh, near Kingsford. So, yeah, Donald Graham <laughs> has about 25 trucks, small flatbed company. Yep, used to go to Mattoon, Wisconsin, deliver deliver these big old logs. So I, I pick them up in West Virginia deliver the logs there then they'd make veneer out of them and then they'd send it back down to the furniture companies down in North Carolina and oh okay that was a dedicated for me for a long time so when did you start trucking back in 91 same Nin no 92 92 I, I did 91 uh-huh yeah I went to uh, D truck D truck uh, diesel truck driving school down in Sun Prairie. Yeah, I almost went there, but I almost was. I wanted to do the truck and the heavy equipment. It was, uh, you know, they did the. Yeah, I didn't have that back then. No. Well, yeah. I'm go back yeah. Yeah. All right, take care, buddy. So, but yeah, I almost went there. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I I I wished I had more time with the family. You know, we had five kids you gotta try ADL I, I really man I'm telling you it's you'll get home at least a day and a half maybe or a day you know so but Ethan introduced me to all these YouTube and you know people yeah I mean we've met Captain Kevin two or three times uh, how about trucker who or trucker Bob um, I think he's looking to park over here. That one doesn't sound familiar now. There's a dump, is that dump truck Bob or? Dump truck Bob, yeah. yeah. Used yeah. to be dump truck Bob. Now he, he yeah, yeah, now he works for, uh, was it? Millis. Millis? Yep. Well, I guess he's going to back right in here, so. Um, I'm not sure if we've met him, but we have. He's out of Pennsylvania. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yep. But we've met, a, we met a bunch of them, I'll tell you. Funny. You know, you could be anywhere in this country, and then I know, you hook I know. up with one person. You know, I I met up with a. Uh, I used to deliver to Boston quite a bit, and there was this another truck driver over there that I always meet up with him. I always meet up with him, and 
his second delivery is always to the place where I'm delivering. Oh, okay. And then uh, it would so happen that if he delivered that load, he won't be able to make it to the third load. So what he would do is he would give me his one or two pallets and I'd deliver it to him. 